The education mission of the university involves loads of people. It's the academics, it's the support staff, it's technicians, and of course it's the students themselves all working together for an exceptional educational experience. The Pilkington Prize is Cambridge's annual celebration of outstanding educators. It recognizes both commitment and excellence in teaching. This year, I think we can also say that it recognizes adaptability and flexibility in both educators and those who support our teaching efforts. I was incredibly fortunate during my undergraduate and postgraduate medical education to be supported and inspired by a variety of clinical academics. And I think my own desires to be involved in education have arisen as a result of that and a desire to pay forwards the tremendous support that I received myself. What struck me from day one in the way that Charlotte interacts with her students, with all of us, is how much she cares and how much she's involved. You can really tell that for her it's more than a job, it's a passion. And I really value that. Um, and more importantly, I think she always really believed and supported me um, when I stopped doing so and in the darker phases of my PhD. And for that reason, I think I'll always remember her as um, one of the most impo important mentors in, in my life. For the last three years, I've had the privilege to teach differential equations to our first year undergrads. And one of the things I like to do in my lectures is to show the students things that I don't know. I think we've probably all had the experience when we're learning something new, it's really easy to feel like everyone else around you knows the answers. And this is particularly true when we're in a place like Cambridge, just surrounded by brilliant people. And it can be really daunting if you're stuck on a hard problem. But in university level maths, we get to think about problems where there aren't easy answers. And I think in many ways, these problems are the most fun. One of the things I value the most about uh, from the experience of lecturing or the interactions that I have with the students, both before and after the lecture, um, and the feedback that I get from the students. As a lecturer in first year, he used very innovative technology that none of us had ever seen before. Instead of using the standard blackboard and chalk, Dr. Taylor used to write his notes on an iPad and project it onto a screen. And it was a really exciting way of doing things that made his lectures incredibly clear to all of the students in the lecture theatre, around 250 of us. When you're on a field trip with students, you can watch them grow in confidence. Field trip teaching is just fantastic. And it may be that we move towards virtual field learning in the future, but I really hope not, because if you throw a geographer into the field, if they've got the right sort of teaching, they're going to come away with a range of skills that they didn't previously have, and it's going to be something that they will remember long after they have graduated. And in really many ways, I think the Cambridge system is ideally suited to handling the challenges that we're facing. So uh, we know the small group teaching in the form of supervisions and example classes are really at the heart of our system here in Cambridge. And I teach these two in addition to lecturing. And hopefully we'll be able to carry on uh, with these much as we normally would and provide, uh, I think, really an incredible level of personalized support to each student. Whilst I miss the face-to-face -face contact with my students, I think it has to be acknowledged that technology is allowing us to provide education in a different format and that actually may be one that's more fit for purpose in some cases. Now, I know many things are going to look different next year in Cambridge and many of our current students and our alpha holders are going to be wondering what learning in Cambridge is going to be like next year. So the first thing I wanted to say is that my colleagues and I are working really hard uh, to maintain Cambridge's high standards and I'm confident that we'll be able to do that next year. Colleges are busy making preparations for a socially distanced Freshers Week, among other things, um, but we're very much looking forward to welcoming our students, old and new, back into colleges in the autumn, um, and particularly a return to face-to-face -face teaching. Um, Cambridge really hasn't been the same without them. I am really grateful for the hard work of all staff to ensure that our students are supported in their education in these really difficult times and also grateful for the innovation and creativity as we prepare for delivery of education in the next academic year. Thank you all for your hard work. Many congratulations to all of this year's Pilkington Teaching Prize winners.